We well, haven't done one of these in a while. So two things. One, remember when I said this it did take me five hours to edit this portion of the video, my last one, because my computer runs like a 1970 Plymouth Runner. Yeah, so my second laptop broke. How unfortunate. And two, I'm back to this because I want to do it again. So basically, yeah, that's it. I will try to get back on schedule and let's just keep it pushing. What's up guys, Funnel Lover 47 here. Welcome to watch for the plot. What I sent you do is troll to the catacombs of Dark Sparks internet to find animated erotic videos and criticize them on the internet because no one else wants to hear me talk about it in the real world. But if you do subscribe for more, boys. So yeah, sound different, different computer gives a fuck. Okay, so the show we are covering today is called City of Sin, a 2001 animation that basically depicts what would happen if an incel fascist dictator had enough power to completely restructure how his entire society interacts with one another in the worst way possible. So we have our main character of sorts named Patricia. Patrici? Beat Richie? That's a name. Getting ready to get married and well, he's a hog. <laughs> Now her immediate knee-jerk reaction was repulsion, so I automatically assumed that she was unaware of the fact that the husband she was giving herself away for, quote, was in her words, for her country security. In other words, she didn't know what he looked like. Well, you will see very shortly how short-sighted her plan was. So after the hog breath comes in and six his guards to violate the two slaves, I think there's a slave, right? They're like sitting right next to Patricia while she's getting her wedding dress set up, whatever, I don't really know what that is. And they violate him. But after that, Francisco, yes, that is his name, decides to walk Patrice out into his entire town and show her how she gets down in Bologna Town. That's the name of the city, Bologna Town. That's a very, um, very phony name, just like real Bologna. And she sees, well, an atrocity. Cause remember when I just mentioned that he changed his village's mindset and how they operate entirely to the point where they just seem like utter Neanderthals in comparison to any other civilization there. Well, I mean, I didn't say that exactly. I was a bit more worried than I thought it would be originally, but hey, it was this, okay? He made a law essentially banning women from not becoming pregnant. So if they decided to not be pregnant, they will be punished by, well, becoming pregnant. This seems like the next logical step when it comes to governing your people. You know, you tax them first, so the said money can go to funding the many services of the government that is necessary for the government to fully function and in turn help the people. And then after that, immediately, mandatory big city golf GS for all men. So after that horrific wedding scene, Patricia is now officially a citizen in the town of Bologna, and she's not damaged goods, but still a wife to Francisco. I will also get to why I think she's damaged goods now in court in his eyes in a moment. I mean, the wedding ceremony wasn't that much that you're missing, honestly. It just basically he decided to, you know, pierce her in the um after that she just starts praying away the sin she has participated in she was hoping by marrying him that he would just forgive the land where she came from and leave her family alone but he continuously raped her and was still going to plan on pillaging the village anyway so therefore all of her plans are basically for naught but she's trying to pray away well maybe it'll get better if i just go to god maybe god will listen to me and while praying you guessed it because you know it's a hentai. She was persuaded into staying still by the name of the Lord while one of the pastors was proceeding to <laughs> a lot of euphemisms here. I know our first day back after like a month. Okay, let me get this euphemism out. Jesus Christ, get off my dick. And while Mitch Stroke, a handsome knight in shining armor named Eric comes to save the day. <laughs> What a lovely man. Totally not questionable at all about how long he was standing there because if this was in the real world, she was getting assaulted for at least about 10 minutes straight. And Lord knows why he waited that long. I mean, I can take a guess, but who knows? And even if hypothetically speaking, giving him the benefit of the doubt and he just so happened to stumble upon the scene unfolding, it was inside a fucking church during twilight hours, you know, dark, midnight dark. And I assume the doors would be locked because again, it's dark, midnight dark. So the whole tangent there was to point out how convoluted it would have been for him to decide to kill the priest at the time he did because again the timing seemed off but after thanking him come to find out that eric knows that francisco is planning on raiding her village anyway wedding plans or whatever to stop the raid from happening was null and void her sacrifice didn't do anything business was going as usual with or without her getting married yikes so after that patrice was like hey man thanks Really appreciate you for fighting for the likes of my village. Good looking. See you around soon. And then literally the next frame, this happens. Anyway, immediately after that, Francisco says, so you like soldiers, huh? And then just chucks her into the arena where a bunch of men, his men, dealt with her. Kind of wish it ended there, but that's not tragic enough, unfortunately. The next day or week, we see a montage of Patricia's village getting plundered by Francisco's men and 
Her sister Kathleen and former queen Arleon are now presented to the king after the, the raid is over and all the female compatriots were gathered and the men were murdered. Patrice is like, hey guys, so it's time for you to become officially citizens of Belagny Town. Belagny Town is where they, you know. <laughs> after the introduction, the Mr. King Lord Frenchy comes out and Patrice starts the party by polishing the doorknob. And then he proceeded to violate Arleon and then had her sister Kathleen straddled on top of his face in the air and was rotating between the two, ignoring Patrice entirely. And then Patrice is like, hey, wait a minute. Why are you ignoring me enjoying having sex with them? That's weird. What's going on with gives? And then boom, she gets beheaded, making that his 16th wife to ever lose her head with him in power. Well, I must say that was a thing that happened during this timeline. I must say this though, it just kept getting worse and worse and worse and unironically, I don't know what I was expecting from a one episode series called City of Sin, like, come on. I read the Bible, sin means bad. As I mentioned before, yes, I'm getting back onto doing these hentai reviews until I'm banned, essentially. I'm just over it now. I'm over getting banned at this point, okay? I don't, I don't give a fuck anymore. And if that ever happens, Ripperoni boys, I will miss this. But after taking that break and reviewing movies, I came to the conclusion that reviewing hentai is just so much easier and kind of more fun to dick around with. No pun intended with that one, obviously. And the next one I plan on reviewing is going to be quite the fun one because it is of the yaoi breed aka gay shit so get ready to get your mind blown or better yet watch me review someone else getting their mind blown all right guys i don't have an outro but if i did wouldn't matter because it makes fun to the video good night <laughs> <laughs>